wheelchairs, you you know they're important and you know they serve a purpose, but you have to stop and think how important they actually are. People that have to use many wheelchairs, they're in them all the time. But it's not until you spend even a day in it that you begin to realize, wow, this is, this is basically part of you. This is basically an extension of you. Society has accounted for the wheels of the user. There's um, ramps on sidewalks. There's ramps to get into buildings. If there's more than two stories in a building, there's going to be an elevator for wheelchair users. So society kind of has a grasp on how important a wheelchair is, but a certain aspect has been completely overlooked. And that's the height of the wheelchair user. For example, the credit card slots on vending machines, the shelves in the kitchen, and counters even like a local coffee shop or a bar. Now with this lack of height, there's a sense of social inequity among wheelchair users. Talking eye to eye gets difficult because when someone wants to speak with a wheelchair user, they get looked down upon and it leads to a sense of, of inequality among people. So being in a wheelchair, let's say you go to a restaurant for example, you want to sit at the table with your friends. Well, Mark sits at a table that's higher than one you can reach and it makes it a little awkward when you go up and you can't sit there with them. So when trying to fix this height issue, people have made standing wheelchairs, they've made some that elevate electrically. And these chairs tend to be bulky, expensive, lots of parts are involved. And it's just kind of inconvenient to lift this up on these chairs. It's a multi-step process. So our solution is up. And this is an elevating wheelchair. It's not a standing wheelchair. So it actually lifts the person up in their seat, just at a higher position. And it's a really simple solution, just like an office chair that you see every day. For UP, what we really try to achieve through our design is to make the uh, entire lifting process as one, which the person simply press a button and then they can just reach up to grab whatever, whatever they want. And so for the design that we uh, made the seat to be able to adjust the height to somewhere, um, somewhere around 10, 10 inches. So the way UP works is it uses simple technology that we're all familiar with. It uses the same type of technology that's in your uh, average office chair, the gas spring. And so what we've done is we've taken two of these and put them directly underneath the seat. So when the user engages these gas springs, there's about 100 pounds of force, at least directly underneath the user. It's not enough um, force to actually lift the user by himself but it allows the user to do an easy, simple assisted dip. One of the main design that we incorporated into Op is that we actually have um, a footrest for the user. So when, when the seat is raised up, um, their foot wouldn't be like dangling around in the midair. Another part of the design that we really thought about Op is that since it's a chair that actually lifts up like the central gravity point is extremely important that we don't want the person to tilt over or maybe like fall down from the seat. So what happened is that for Ops design, it's slightly longer than like the normal wheelchairs at the same time that we have the supporting wheels that goes towards the back. So we will be selling a lot of different color options for users to be able to customize their own chair and make it unique to what they like. So for Ops logo, it illustrates elevation, it uses diagonals to point towards the top, and this, the base of it is a flat line, so it provides stability, which is also what we're looking for in building our chair. So let's say you're buying a new car, you got enough money for that Porsche and you want to put this in your driveway. You can also get a shirt while you're there, you can get a backpack, a tie, even a belt if you want to. With UP, we tend to make the same kind of brand culture behind it. So when you buy the chair, you buy a t-shirt, you buy a hat and you're wearing with pride because you A, you the quality product, and B, you're happy about it. You can use things that are related to it. So we did tons of research. We even did our own personal research where we got to spend time in a wheelchair and see what it was like. And we feel that we solved one of the major problems that we faced. At our desk, we found that we were sitting on the idea the entire time, literally.